death. And now let's get a quick check on the weather with meteorologist Sarah Gannon. And Sarah, it was an amazing weekend. I actually got up to Lake Pepin, got a really bad sunburn that you can't see, luckily. <laughs> it was just great overall. Yeah, it was a fantastic weekend to get outside. Now, yesterday evening, we did see some showers and thunderstorms that kind of pulled through the area. So quite a little damper on the evening, but overall today, I think we kind of made up for it. High temperatures today mainly topped off into about the mid to low 80s towards the eastern side of our viewing area and then even into the upper 80s and lower 90s off towards the I-35 corridor. So it's a beautiful sunny day, nice and warm. And if you love today's conditions, we're going to turn up the heat just a couple more degrees here as we head into our Monday. So as we kind of look at things and what's in store here for the upcoming work week, we are planning on kind of a rather warm and a little muggy start to the work week for our Monday. We'll look to see temperatures topping off into the lower 80, lower 90s and also seeing dew points well into the 60s, creating some very sick, sticky summery conditions here to kick things off. Then as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're tracking some several rounds of heavy rainfall for the area. We'll have to watch that very closely. Could see the potential for some flooding in the area as well. Like I said, monitoring that very closely. Then towards the late week, temperatures will be cooling down quite a bit, at least uh, compared to what we're experiencing right now. And then also kind of a little more seasonably cool for what we should be seeing this time of the year. But overall, shouldn't be too bad. Right now, live look at your Walnut Group camera from Signal Hill looking to the west, kind of catching those last few rays there of the sunset this evening. Winds are pretty breezy out there right now to the southeast around 20 miles per hour. They will stay blustery here the rest of tonight and into uh, tomorrow as well. So temperatures right now sitting into the upper 70s to lower 80s, depending on the viewing area. So really uh, overall pretty fantastic conditions here for this evening. Dew points are bearable for the time being. As I said, these are going to really jump up in well into the 60s tomorrow. So right now they are pretty comfortable still into the upper 50s and into the very low 60s. Satellite and radar showing quiet conditions here for us at home across the Fox 47 viewing area, but up towards northern Minnesota and back into the Dakotas. Parts of those areas are experiencing some severe weather in the area, so wind, hail, even the threat for some tornadoes. But good news is that will stay out of our area for tonight and even to tomorrow. Our next chance for some precipitation moves in for Tuesday and then into Wednesday. So as we kind of time things out here with our future future cast, things will stay dry, very quiet for tonight. Not looking to be experiencing anything associated with that severe weather to our north and to our west. For then your Monday, we will look to see more sunshine across the area. So really lather on the sunscreen. Make sure to stay very hydrated tomorrow. It's going to be feeling very sticky, very middle of summer like uh, with those temperatures into the lower 90s and dew points then into the upper 60s. By Tuesday, then we'll start to see the cloud cover increasing across the area. And by Tuesday afternoon, looking at the chance for some widespread showers and thunderstorms across the area. And this is looking to be a very uh, significant rain event that we're going to be experiencing here for your Tuesday and Wednesday. So it could be picking up anywhere from about uh, two to three inches of rainfall with some locally higher amounts that we'll have to monitor very closely. Could leading to some uh, flooding in some areas as well. But for tonight, temperatures will be back into the upper 60s, lower 70s with mainly clear skies. Breezy conditions though as well for tomorrow. Looking to see most folks well into the lower 90s, maybe some mid 90s off towards the I-35 corridor. Overall looking to be a bright, sunny, warm and sticky day. As we check in with that extended forecast, we'll look to see our next chance for precipitation on Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures really cooling back then into the low 70s. So cool by our average standards, but overall nothing that will need to you know, bring out the extra layers or anything like that. It'll just be a little seasonably cool, and I think most folks will kind of enjoy the little bit of heat and then some slightly cooler conditions, but most of the late week then looks to stay pretty dry. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, you see those 90 degree temperatures and then a cool off for the weekend. <laughs> there you go. All right, thanks, Sarah. Well, a desperate plea for help.